Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to Joystick News, your daily dose of gaming news and reviews. I'm your host, and today we have an exciting preview for you. We got an extended hands-on demo of the highly anticipated game, Lies of P, and trust me when I say, this one's a real doozy. It's Pinocchio meets Bloodborne, and if that concept sounds as strange as it is compelling, well, that's because it is. Moody, gothic, bloody, and unabashedly similar to one of From Software's most respected games, Lies of P aims to fill the void that Bloodborne has left for the past eight years, and it seems like Neo is is coming within striking distance. Let's dive right into it. In this grim retelling of the classic Pinocchio tale, Lies of P takes us to the city of Krat, an abandoned, puppet-infested nightmare. From the moment we woke up Pinocchio in the eerie train station, it was clear that this was far from a Disney movie. The city is littered with gruesome scenes of death and destruction, and the atmosphere is thick with dread. The art direction truly shines here, with its beautiful Belle Epoque architecture juxtaposed against the macabre setting. Our main goal, find Mr. Geppetto, who seems to be at the center of the ongoing puppet siege. While we didn't get the full narrative picture in this preview, we did get a taste of what Lies of P has to offer. The game introduces a branching narrative element revolving around Pinocchio's lies. We were given the choice to either lie or tell the truth, and it was intriguing to see the consequences of our choices. Although Pinocchio's nose didn't grow, there were hints that our decisions might have a significant impact on the story. We're definitely looking forward to unraveling more of the game's narrative when it launches later this year. Now, let's talk gameplay. If you're a fan of Bloodborne, you're in for a treat. Lies of P borrows heavily from the high-risk, high-reward playstyle that made Bloodborne so captivating. The combat is fast-paced, aggressive, and punishing. Defensive playstyles won't get you far here. The enemies are unrelenting, and the level design keeps you on your toes with projectile attacks and relentless onslaughts. But fear not, because if you stay on the offensive and land hits on enemies, you can regain lost health. It's a fight-or-die mentality that keeps the adrenaline pumping. As for weapons, Lies of P keeps it lean but effective. You'll have the choice to prioritize a balanced playstyle, dexterity, or strength. Each playstyle comes with its own unique weapon and attributes, allowing for different approaches to combat. The moonstones scattered throughout the world can upgrade your weapons, while the ergo essence dropped by puppet enemies can boost your base stats. It's a familiar Souls-like affair, but the game leans more towards the Bloodborne branch of Souls-likes, which is a breath of fresh air for fans craving that Bloodborne experience. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the comparison to Bloodborne. It's been over eight years since Bloodborne launched on the PS4, and Lies of P is one of the few games that comes close to scratching that Bloodborne itch. While many studios have developed excellent Souls-likes, they often draw more from Dark Souls or Sekiro. Lies of P, however, embraces the gothic, eldritch nightmare formula that made Bloodborne so beloved. The setting, atmosphere, and narrative all work together to create a captivating experience that will surely appeal to those who missed out on the PS4 exclusive. But, as with any preview, there are a few areas that need improvement. The enemy variety, for one, could use some work. While the concept of evil puppets running rampant is novel, it didn't feel fully fleshed out in this preview. The enemies we encountered were mostly night watchmen and train conductors, which didn't offer much diversity or pose a significant challenge. We hope to see more imaginative and compelling enemy designs in the final game to match the intriguing concept. Additionally, two of the three main bosses we encountered lacked intriguing concepts and felt like larger versions of regular enemies. While they provided a challenge, we're hoping for more fleshed out and thematically captivating boss encounters in the full game. Turning these technically challenging foes into larger-than-life horrors worthy of the challenge will be crucial for Lies of P to truly shine. In conclusion, Lies of P has the potential to be a fantastic alternative for Bloodborne fans hungry for more. Its unique premise, stunning art style, and gameplay that leans heavily into the Bloodborne formula make it an enticing prospect. However, it's not without its flaws, such as the lack of enemy variety and underwhelming boss designs. Nonetheless, based on our hands-on demo, we're extremely excited for the full game's release later this year. Lies of P launches on September 19, 2023, for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, S. We were provided a PC code for the purposes of this preview, and we can't wait to sink our teeth into the full game. That's it for today's video, gamers. If you enjoyed this preview, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content. Until next time, keep gaming and stay rentastic.